Hi, I'm Siobhan Plaza, author of The Boy, The Wolf, The Stars. And I'm Will Kostarkas, the author of The First Third. And we're here to give you our three top tips for writing. So these are tips that work for us. Remember, always find the tips that work for you. Make sure that your sentences are multitaskers. That means that every sentence is not just describing what happens, it is revealing about character, plot, setting. Think about how hard your sentences are working. Are they working hard enough? Are they revealing enough? Give yourself permission to write a bad first draft. My friend, Australian YA author Amy Kaufman always says that a first draft is just you filling in the sandpit. It's your second and third drafts. They're the ones that allow you to then build the sandcastle that everyone is going to think is really special. Think about your plot beats. Think about where your characters are moving toward, what their next step is. Think about cause and effect. Each event in the novel causes something else to happen, causes something else to happen, so it's one long chain of events. Keep on top of character growth and your characters in general. If a scene or a character isn't affecting the plot in any way, or if an action sequence isn't then informing our understanding of a character, why is it there? Don't be afraid to give it the chop. Set yourself small writing goals. Don't just sit down and think about, oh, I've got 80,000 words to write for this story. Think about, well, maybe I'll write 200 words today. I'll just get this scene done. I'll just get this chapter done. Set small, achievable goals. And before you know it, you've written the whole story. Have two readers in your corner. I like to call them the champion and the critic. You take your story to the champion when you feel like you need to be boosted and they're that person, like a parent or a guardian or a best friend, who only see the amazing things in your work. But when you really want to push yourself, don't be afraid to have somebody there who is a little bit more critical and you go to them when you want to extend yourself and get a little bit better. And those are our three, well, six in total, tips for writing. And by all means, try these out. If they don't work for you, don't feel bad. Creative writing is about finding what works for you. And with that all said, I'm going to sneakily add one final point, and that is be a reader. Make sure that you are going out there and you are reading, not just reading the books and the stories that you want to write, but reading outside of your comfort zone because every word you read will make you a better writer. And I cannot recommend Siobhan's latest novel, The Boy, The Wolf and The Stars enough if you're looking for that next great read.